Okay, so now that we uh, have successfully generated some surfaces and tool paths, now we want to take a look at uh, uh, editing the, the model just a little bit. So I'm going to create a new uh, layer and I'm going to extract the wireframe from this edge and this edge here and then what I'll do is turn everything else off. Okay, so from here I'm going to do surface cross section, shift click, shift click, spacebar, spacebar. So now we have this surface. Then I'm going to take this, rotate Z93 copies from zero. Okay, cancel. And then we'll bring our um, our surfaces back up. So right now we have a bunch of independent surfaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to add them together. Solids, add uh, this to this, right click OK this to this right click OK uh, this to this and we're gonna repeat this process all the way around the model until all the uh, surfaces are added together okay so we got one other section here alright so now we have all the surfaces together now the reason why we did this is we want to uh, break these edges right now they're sharp edges at the the bottom and top so we want to add a fillet to it so the first uh, fillet we're gonna make is um, gonna be a quarter inch and we'll grab uh, these top edges uh, here uh, this one we gotta make sure we grab the surface edge okay so now we have all the fillets on the top and then the last thing we want to do is we want to add a, a fillet uh, a fillet on the bottom so we'll come in and grab uh, all the intersections at the bottom all the way around uh, making sure to grab the surface edges like in this example there's there's wireframe here so that's going to make it a, a little bit difficult to select that edge there because the wireframe is already there. Uh, I could turn that layer off. Um, or the other thing I can do is I can turn off all my selection and just have surfaces. This should let me grab this surface edge. Ah, okay, let's try this again. I'm just going to uh, select... This is S on my keyboards, clear my selection mask, just grab surfaces. And I'm just going to move this over to its uh, own layer. And then I can turn off that wireframe. Because that wireframe edge, when you have a surface edge and a wireframe edge in the same location, uh, it doesn't know which one to pick and it tends to pick up the, um, the wireframe edge. Okay, so now I'll just go through and uh, grab all these intersections here and then right click OK ah, what's going on here I got that one I'll do them all independently I got that one got that one alright so now we have them all done so now that we've made an adjustment to our model we want to update our tool path so we'll come in geometry reselect select all right click OK uh, recompute and that will recompute our roughing then we'll go to our Spiral, reselect, select all, right click OK, compute, and then we'll update the spiral. So now we have the new updated spiral toolpath, and then we have the new updated roughing toolpath. Alright, guys.